was quite a long time ago. I'm uh, in a much, much better shape now. OP. This one's short for overpowered. 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 What's up, boys, and welcome to the Road to the Knockouts episode your number one. Today is the first day of Road to the Knockouts, a new promo that EA re has released uh, featuring Champions League cards, uh, Europa League cards, and then two Conference League cards as well. Uh, this is Team 1, which would indicate that there's going to be a Team 2 at some point in the uh, uh, in the very likely near future. Uh, but uh, this is Road to the Knockouts. So the way it works is essentially uh, there's two upgrades for each player to get. If you qualify for the Knockout stages in the current competition, meaning Champions League, Europa League, or Conference League, uh, there get, there's an upgrade, and then also if the club earns three wins from the remaining four group stage matches, there is also room for an upgrade. And just to be clear, it's called Road to the Knockout. There are no uh, there are no upgrades uh, past that. It is only for the group stages. It is not the knockouts. Uh, I would imagine there's going to be a separate promo uh, for cards that are in the knockout stage. So these cards will not get upgraded beyond uh, beyond the group stages. But today we're focusing on a player that I said I would delete FIFA if he didn't get a Team of the Week in Team of the Week number three and it is none other than Alexander Isak the four star skill move five star weak foot mad lad was an absolute monster for us in FIFA 21 and is one of the beloved channel uh, is one of the beloved channel legends uh, an, an Ebro regen of sorts is you know has that a, a towering height and uh, has a higher rated base card than he did uh, last year, which means that his upgrade uh, being an 86 is pretty damn spicy. So that's the card we're going to look at today. There's a Leroy Zane I want to take a look at. There's a Delict uh, SPC that goes for about 85, 90,000 coins. That looks like it's pretty damn decent value. Did a bunch of center back epis over the course of the past few days. So I figured let's, you know, let's go back to our bread and butter. Let's focus on another attacker. And of course, we had to bang out an Alexander Isak Episodius. But today, it is all about the Swedish fish. Alexander Isak, blast a mad lad like on the epi. If you guys remember him from last year, smash like on the Epi if you guys want to see him get upgraded. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So uh, the main thing that we need to talk about before we even get into the stats are what are his chances of even getting upgraded? First off, he's 190,000 coins, which is not cheap. Uh, he's about 130 on the Xbox, which is pretty crazy considering the price differential. Had to pay 190,000 coins, which is not cheap. But I think, you know, the pr uh, what's baked into the price is the fact that it is a live item and that it is a card that people are familiar with from last year being so OP. Uh, and uh, we're going to see we're going to see if that carries over to this year. So um, they have four games left, so they need to win three out of the next four. They play Sturm Graz, which should be a dub. They play Sturm Graz back-to-back -back matches um, October 21st and then November uh, November 4th. So those should be dubs, but you never know. They're not in incredible form. They have two draws. Uh, they drew versus Monaco, and then they drew versus Eindhoven. And then to finish it off, they need to win one of a match against Monaco and then one match against a real Sociedad. So uh, the earliest we could get an upgrade is around like mid-December. So uh, this is a pretty cheeky upgrade um, ba uh, off his base card. That's one of the reasons I wanted to take a look at his card. It's a very, very nice upgrade upgrade, but uh, asking for three out of four wins from those matches is not easy. I don't know. If you're a real real Sociedad supporter, I don't know. I mean, again, they drew versus Monaco. They drew versus uh, Real Madrid. Uh, sorry, um, Eindhoven. Um, so basically, they need to win both matches versus Sturm Graz. I mean, it's, it's possible that they win all four, but Again, I don't know too much about uh, Real Sociedad. The only reason, one of the reasons I picked this card is that he looks nuts already as an 86. And it would just be, you know, I, uh, two upgrades on this would be icing on the cake. Uh, I think he's going to have a difficult path to not just two upgrades, uh, but might even just have a difficult path to at least one. So let's get into the stats, right? Four star, five star. We already knew that about him. 86 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. Goes Both go over 90 with the engine chem style. The shooting stats, 90 attacking positioning with the 87 finishing, 88 shot power. Has some decent passing stats. One of the reasons that that we use the engine is to get those jacked off uh, and then the dribbling stats he goes up to uh, he goes up to 88 agility goes up to 79 bounce which I think is really important with the engine and then has 93 dribbling with 86 ball control the 81 composure I'm gonna see how that feels with the uh, with the five-star weak foot and that really nice uh, that really solid 84 strength and has himself the outside the foot and the flare shot so the combination of the five-star weak foot the outside the foot shot the fact that you could link him into a cheeky Mostovi and then also a Kareem the dream Benzema is pretty damn emotional I was thinking about maybe putting together a Yunberg and Ibra Epi but we love ourselves, Kareem the Dream Benzema. We love Alexander Isak. And I do want to try out this most of you. I've wanted to give him a try. Let's get into match number one. Let's see if he might be close to being worth 180, 190,000 coins on the PlayStation. Looks like he's still hovering around 135, 140 on the Xbox. Match number one, stir strumming. There's some cards that I think are exciting. Um, some of them seem like they're a little bit recycled, right? It seems like we get the same cards every year. 
Uh, but I hope we just get a... The, the one thing I do like about Ro uh, Road to the Knockouts is... Um, Okay, Isak, my guy, we're meant to blast that. That's meant to be that's meant to be the emotional first goal of the episode, here, bro. What's going on? Inside the box Finessis just inside the box Finessis are meant to work. They don't they, they legitimately don't. There we go, Alexander Isak. And that's why people and that's why people love this card last year and that's why people are going to love this card this year the left analog stick dribbling i'm not using lb rb uh you guys are always asking me are you doing any lb or rb uh manipulation of the dribbling L legitimately no what's the, what's the sprint speed looking like does he have outside the box finesses using a little bit of that strength I need that to be in, but that showcases that 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 little bit of left analog stick dribbling right there, showcases what's what's possible with a with with, a, with an Alexander Isak, the the ability to cut on a dime, again using just I mean and he's got the four star weak foot that's the thing. Alex Isak inside the box and there's Mostovi and he's gonna bang that in. We're gonna do we're gonna do the Mostovi Naruto run. So I mean, my thoughts so far with Alexander Isak just got that wiry body type that for whatever reason still moves super super silky as a guy that's six four. Uh, but more importantly than that, it's the it's the close touch dribbling that the uh, that the card affords you. So let's keep let's keep let's keep a look. Uh, let's keep track of the um, let's keep track of the Isak and see what he's going for. Was going for one ninety and probably gonna lose some. He's already down to one seventy eight. So it looks like he's balancing out on both consoles. One seventy eight on the PlayStation, one seventy on the Xbox. It's, it's it's a lethal combination of uh, it's a le lethal combination of shot power, um, agility, dribbling, and then finishing. This is why the card is just a little bit different. He's uh, for for the strength that he has, he's able to wiggle guy. He's able to wiggle by guys like that. Um, and then this is just all left hand lungs, all left hand lung stick dribbling. Like literally, that's all it is. There's there's no skill moves. This is just all left hand lung stick dribbling. Glides by one guy. And it's just kind of effortlessly. You just wiggle around on the left analog stick, and uh, he just bangs them in. And there he goes doing his cheeky little uh, his cheeky little Naruto run celebration. Okay, well, uh, he's got 81 long shots. The reason I don't love that one right there is because it was just like a straight up miss. That wasn't like that wasn't even like a keeper got his hand on it. That was just like a straight up miss. Isak's wiggle game is strong. Hi, that night, man. Alexander Isak coming in with the uh, with with the, with the Benzema send. Hey, shout out Kareem the Dream Benzema for for supplying that absolutely scrumptious little over the top LB double tapping triangle uh, through ball. You love to see that. So, again, picks up where he left off in the last match. We've got what? 7 shots on target, 2 goals. Great defending. Was that Davies, bro? Listen, I was skeptical about spending forty or forty to fifty k on a uh, on a wing back, bro. But Davies kind of has me being uh, D Davies. Davies might have converted me. You guys know me, man. Usually, I'm you know I I, I don't spend any more than max fifteen k, right? Like I'm, I I think I I got him bobs for sixteen uh, k or something like that. But dude, Davies is just a different kind of guy, dude. And the one thing I'm really liking about the four one two one two is that it that third midfielder big, makes a big difference, man. Especially if you got a guy that likes to play up the middle. Um, that third midfielder makes the world of a difference. Benzo. The loveliness. It's a little bit of the least like the Yo, yo, Alexander, yo, Alexander Isak. 
is just a delicious, delicious little card. Again, left analog, and then just pops the finesse ever so beautifully past Guardians of the Gulashki. Yeah, why? Grazie, why? Oh, dude. Old die, ha old habits die, uh, all old habits die hard. Okay, so, again, a uh, little bit disappointed that he didn't score there, but, again, I tried to do a little bit of what we were used to doing in FIFA 21, and that just does not work this year. Burbispin was very nice, but then, obviously, doing the finesse shot inside the box was not the play. Probably should have gone near post with the, uh, with the power of blast, uh, or probably should have gone crossbody, but the main thing, the main takeaway from that play right there was the fact that he was just able to cut around that guy so slippery, dude. It looks like he's crashing to about 152,000 coins on the PlayStation, 167. Uh, we got five goals and an assist in three games played with him. Uh, I'm losing quite a bit of coinage on this right now, so I'm just going to try and flip him. Already have the uh, already have the Hunter Kemp style on him, so we're going to we're gonna go ahead and we're going to send him. We're going to buy him back, and uh, hopefully, I mean, I, I, th this is a card I could see maybe coming down to around maybe 120, 130. If he goes anywhere under 100,000 coins, he would be an absolute, uh, absolute bargain. Uh, but at his current price at about 152,000, uh, but let, let's call it about let's call it 160,000 coins between the uh, between the two consoles. It is not a cheap card. I, I will say that it's, if it wasn't a live card, I think this is probably about 100,000 coin card. But the 86, as it stands, has that absolute ridiculous dribbling that we had last year. Has really really good finishing. Couple instances where I was expecting him to make it, but I suppose it's more difficult to score in FIFA 22. Uh, so as it stands right now, I'm going to go again. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give him a four to five in terms of value. 150,000 coins isn't crazy crazy early game. It is, uh, but car, uh, player prices are. So so cheap this year um, that uh, I think you can uh, I, th I think you can uh, I, th I think you can make an argument that he is worth the coins and also like I said given the fact that he's live uh, and has the potential to get two uh, two spicy little upgrades so four to five in terms of value in terms of on the pitch performance I am also going to give it a four to five was able to do distance bangers was able to score from inside the box has the five star weak foot but more importantly than anything he's got this really unique ability to cut around players using this like little wiggling animation that he does with the left hand log stick dribbling uh, and has just some really 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 spicy, uh, spicy dribbling stats. Don't even need to use utilize the four star skill moves. You go inside the box. You feel comfortable with the fact that he's got the five star weak foot. Can bang him in with any foot, uh, and then uh, and then you just you know wiggle around using the left analog stick dribbling and and pretty much leave any defender in the dust if you guys have practiced your left analog stick uh, stick dribbling enough, which is definitely something I recommend. That is gonna do it for the episode, yo boys. Like I said, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Smash like on the epi. Let me know if you guys pick up this Isak card and how he performs for you. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.